Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to do the latest cable knit um, cardigan design nails, very popular. So I'm going to start off with Perfect Nails R1 and I'm just going to place that at the top of the nail. It's just a gel polish. Then R5 which is a baby pink, that's going in the centre. Don't worry about your lines too much because you won't actually see them later. And then 63 plus uh, lac gel, which is a nice grey. That's going on the bottom. And then you're just going to cure that in your lamp for 30 seconds. Exactly the same again, so you're doing two coats of each colour. And again, you're going to cure that in your lamp for 30 seconds. If you were doing this on a client's natural nail, don't forget to use a base gel. But if you're doing it on top of hard gel or acrylic, there's no need for that base gel. You can just go straight on top of your filed work. Don't forget to seal your edge. Now I'm using Crystal Nails Matte Top Gel. Because obviously a knitted cardigan would be a matte finish, not a shiny finish. Get a good coverage and then cure in your lamp. And I do 60 seconds on that. Wipe your sticky layer off so you can see it's nice and matte. Using your Barbara 2 brush and your Royal Gel 06, which is the white, you're going to start to create your cable knit design. Don't do it too thin. You want a little bit of thickness on this because we're actually going to cover it with powder. So if it's too thin, it doesn't pick it up as much as what you'd like it to. So a little bit of thickness is good. I found with this design it's easier to start off with the center colour and then go either top or bottom, whichever. There's lots of different cable knit designs out there so get on Google and see which one you fancy having a go at. Once you've finished you're going to need a similar colour powder to what you've already got there, that pink. So I've used tie-dye pink and SI and pure white and mixed them together. So I've created a baby pink. Just get a tray underneath and then I'm just using my cuticle pusher to just pick the powder up and just literally sprinkle it on. Make sure you've got a full coverage over that white gel. And then cure in your lamp for 30 seconds. So we're going to do exactly the same now, but we're going to do it with white. So I'm going to just use the NSI Pure White to do this. But just make sure that your cable knit design starts to then overlap slightly. So those colours that you've used underneath, those gel polishes that you've used underneath, um, the lines get hidden so it doesn't matter that you're not blending them or anything like that. So just carrying on that cable knit design at the top of the nail now. So we're ready for our pure white powder now. So same again, get your tray and then sprinkle your pure white powder on top. If you don't want to be wasted then just do one colour at a time and then pop the excess back into your pot. And now finishing off by doing the grey. So again using your R6 Royal White Gel, create your pattern. Just taking it ever so slightly up into that pink area so again you're not going to see those lines by the time this design's finished. And for this grey, I've mixed pure white NSI and uh, basic black from NSI and I've made a nice grey which is very popular this season. So sprinkle that on, good coverage and then cure in your lamp for 30 seconds. 
and then remove your dust and that's all done.